हे करण व्हाट्स अप मॅन आवर यू आय एम ग्रेट अर्जुन व्हाट्स अप अच्छा अच्छा ब्रो टेल मी वन थिंग आय हॅव अ बजेट ऑफ थर्टी लॅक रुपीज आय एम टू बाय अ लक्झुरियस प्रॅक्टिकल सेव्हन सीटर समज नाही यार कोण सी गाडी लू प्लीज बता दे मुझे यार सो मेनी ऑप्शन इन दॅट सेगमेंट मॅन टेक टेस्ट ड्राइव्ह ऑफ द इनोवा अलकजार एक्स यू वी सेव्हन डबल ओ अँड इवन द सफारी ओके सो द थिंग इज एक्स यू एन सफारी अराउंड बिकॉज आय वॉन्ट समथिंग रिलायबल इन द लॉंगर रन अलकजार इज अ लिटल टू स्मॉल फॉर माय लाइकिंग आय लाईक द इनोवा हाय क्रॉस बट द वेटिंग पिरियड इज टू इयर्स कुठ और सजेस्ट करते समज नाही यार तो एक काम कर मारुती इनविक्टो ले मारुती सुझू की इनविक्टो वॉट इज दॅट कुठ नया गाडी आहे क्या इनविक्टो इज बेसिकली मारुतीज वर्जन ऑफ द टर्ट आय नो हाय क्रॉस अंडर देअर पार्टनरशिप अभि अभि लॉन्च हुई आहे यूल गेट इट क्विकली अच्छा अच्छा समजा सो बेसिकली बलेनो ग्लान्झा वाला फंडा ओके सो नाव टेल मी होत की मारुती इज मेकिंग दिस कार इज देनी डिफरन्स इन द परफॉर्मन्स बिल्ड क्वालिटी सेफ्टी और इवन द स्पेस अँड द कम्फर्ट ऑफ द कार फन फॅक्ट दिस कार इज मेड बाय टर्टा इट सेल्फ एट देअर प्लांट इन कर्नाटका तो इट इज एक्झॅक्टली द सेम ओनली सो यू मीन टू से दिस इज मेड बाय टर्टा इट सेल्फ इन देअर प्लांट तो फिर चेंजेस क्या है लुक 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 दे एन इनविक्टो कमिंग ओवर देर आई थिंक दैट इज पार्थ फ्रॉम मोटर व्यू आई थिंक वही है अपना दोस्त है वो तो चल चल गाड़ी देख लेते Hey guys Karan Arjun sorry i couldn't help but over here your conversation i am here with the invicto and i am here to clear all your doubts hey parth perfect timing man arjun was having some doubts regarding the invicto please usko bata de oh, parth you are the savior man we are just talking about the invicto chal chal please bata do mujhe kya kya changes hai isme don't worry at all main sabhi changes bata deta hu in a bit First up you get slightly redesigned headlights over here this one gets three block led drls over here compared to the inno high cross which gets drls and indicators over here this one gets only an indicator over here meanwhile the invicto also misses out on fog lamps this suzuki logo is flanked by a double slat chrome grille over here which is different from that of the inno high cross the design of the bumper has also been slightly tweaked compared to that of the inno on the top end variant the inno gets 225 50 18 tires while the invicto gets 215 60 17 tire size the inno gets hybrid badging over here which the invicto does not get the tail lights are also slightly redesigned you get these three block designs over here and these are not full leds this part is led this is halogen this is also halogen now of course this one gets invicto badging over here but the font is the same as the innova suzuki badging over here hybrid badging over here no variant name is written on the innova you get zx badging over here and this one also gets a nexa sticker this car also gets a nexa blue color which is not offered on the innova <laughs> The third row on the Invicto is the same as the Innova High Cross for this change majorly is the second row because the Innova gets automatic seats the Invicto makes do with regular captain seats how are the seats well they are actually quite nice in terms of uh, comfort and support that they offer the seat back is tall the headrest is tall under the support seems good enough and the uh, space is of course the same as the Innova which is very good you get this cup holder over here and two cup holders basically and some storage area and uh, the rear ac controls are also placed over here of course automatic seats are more comfortable because you get that leg rest option and uh, those are also electrically adjustable these are manually adjustable you can slide them back and forth and uh, this is the minimum amount of space on offer this is the maximum amount of space on offer really comfortable and uh, of course you can recline these and lie down So yeah definitely a nice place to be and of course this one also gets a panoramic sunroof just like the high cross the cabin of the invicto is exactly the same as the innova high cross yahan pe khali aapko minor change mil jata hai ki this one has an all black layout with some golden inserts meanwhile the innova high cross has a layout of black and brown with some silver colored inserts what is the biggest change over here no adas and the speakers are different so basically the innova high cross gets 9 jbl speakers on the top end variant this one gets six speakers from the gx variant of the innova high cross the screen is the same the layout is the same let's see how's the sound quality i've connected my phone to apple carplay wired and uh, there's a wireless option also The sound quality from these six speakers is below average for a car that costs 30 lakh rupees more than 30 lakh rupees on road Mumbai and an upgrade is a must for sure in fact even the JBL speakers on the Innova High Cross are just above average so isme to kafi downgrade feel hota hai in terms of the audio quality So I'm driving the Maruti Invicto now and uh, it feels very familiar because just a couple of days back I was driving the Innova High Cross in Mumbai and uh, sab kuch matlab same hi feel ho raha hai 
Innova has petrol and hybrid. This one has only hybrid. 2 litre powertrain making 184 horsepower, 150 from the engine and uh, around 112 from the e-motor. And uh, regarding the torque, this one makes 188 newton meters from the engine and around 206 newton meters from the motor. That motor torque comes in from 0 rpm and uh, the regular engine's torque comes in from 4400 rpm. Driving this car is a very very smooth experience, bossy smooth powertrain and no vibrations, no noises unless you rev the engine a lot and uh, overall it is very easy to drive. Light steering, comfortable suspension. Innova has 18 inch wheels, this one with 17 inch wheels has a slightly better ride quality I dare say and uh, of course if you see the car 17 inch looks small on such a big car but uh, the ride quality is actually very nice, very plant and even when you have to replace the tyres in the future, 17 inch tyres will actually be cheaper to replace compared to 18 inch tyres which will be expensive and uh, overall it is a very expensive car to drive, again same as the Innova, very comfortable, very spacious. So no stress at all. Now you might be wondering why did Mauti not bring the petrol part into the Invicto? Well, the thing is that the petrol engine is a gas guzzler. Mileage is very low, 6-7 km per litre. And that is why they did not see any point in bringing that part rate. Safe hybrid life, which is claimed mileage at 23.24 km per litre. Realistically, this will also give around 15 to 17 km per litre, which is fair enough for a car of this segment. Now, of course, uh, they will cater to the cab segment also, just like how Toyota caters to that segment with the high cross. And cabbies also require good fuel economy because if you take petrol, the running cost per km is much more than that. So this is again a nice uh, you know, USP, the mileage and of course the smooth powertrain. Petrol engine is also good for Innova, mein aata hai, but it drinks fuel. So Karan, Arjun and uh, all of you watching this video, you might be wondering why should one buy the Invicto when the Innova High Cross is already there. I'll tell you, Innova has 10 variants catering to wider customer base. 4 variants for petrol, 6 for hybrid. Meanwhile, the Invicto gets 3 variants, Zeta 7-seater, Zeta 8-seater and Alpha 7-seater. The Zeta is 60,000 cheaper than the Innova. The Alpha is 1.4 lakh cheaper than the Innova on road Mumbai. For that rupees 1.4 lakh, you miss out on ADAS, JBL speakers, and 18 inch wheels. Rest everything is the same. But the Toyota Innova gets a better warranty of 3 years, 1 lakh kilometers, standard extendable up to 5 years. This one gets a standard warranty of 2 years, 40,000 kilometers, extendable up to 4 years, 80,000 kilometers. Balino Glanzer, maybe this same formula apply kiya jata hai, but the reliability will be the same because again, dono gaadi same hai. So, so if you cannot wait for the Innova or if you think Suzuki has a better dealership network, better service network in your city or in your town, you can most definitely buy the Invicto. Some people will say that they are not comfortable spending 30 lakh rupees on a Suzuki product. But uh, let me tell you one thing, it is a Toyota product. Of course, Suzuki badging mil jati hai. So you need to be a little more comfortable with that. So that's about it from my side. Kya hai aapke thoughts Invicto ke mein? Let me know in the comment section below.